Welcome to the World Register Report. The World Register is an independent news source providing truthful, unbiased, and timely reporting of people, places, and events. Commentaries are also provided on selected stories from time to time. In an interview with ABC's Martha Raddatz, the United States Ambassador to the United Nations, Nikki Haley, spoke about her feelings concerning the Middle East, Russia, China, and North Korea. Raddatz started off the conversation by asking about the Trump-Russian story, but Ambassador Haley said, quote, Well, Martha, I can tell you that things are very busy at the United Nations, but what I'm focused on is the chatter the international community is saying, not the chatter that is going on in D.C. As Ambassador Haley spoke about other topics such as the U.S. presence in the Middle East and how China needs to be more involved with North Korea, Raditz pressed the issue again about U.S.-Russian relations. Ambassador Haley summarized how her dealings with Russia involved the Crimea and Ukraine and how she has no problem calling out Russia if they did something wrong. She went on to state that the U.S. needed Russia's pressure when dealing with the Islamic State. Raditz pushed the issue again, asking, quote, What do you think should happen to Russia for hacking into the U.S. election, for trying to influence the U.S. election? Ambassador Haley replied, quote, First off, I think the facts need to come out, that the whole process needs to take place. Raditz, obviously not satisfied with the direction of Ambassador Haley's answer, cut her off and said, What facts haven't come out? Seventeen intelligence agencies said they did that. Do you believe them? Ambassador Haley answered by saying, Certainly I believe Russia was involved in the election. There is no question about that, and I think when they finish with all this process, yes, they need to address Russia, they need to act, and they need to make sure they are loud about it. We don't want any country involved in our elections, ever. It was not understood what Raditz implied by stating, quote, hacking into the U.S. election. Raditz did not identify any of the 17 intelligence agencies, as it was not clear who she was referring to and what they may have said. Ambassador Haley's response was equally as vague as she did not explain how Russia was involved in the U.S. presidential elections and what effect they may have had. Although no specifics were given about Russian interference, media sources such as the AP headlined this ABC interview with words such as, U.S. Ambassador, no question Russia meddled in election. Reuters news agency reports today that 254 bodies have been found among wreckage in Makoa, Colombia, where flooding and landslides injured hundreds more. The report states that in the early morning hours, several rivers burst their banks, destroying entire neighborhoods with water, mud, and debris. There are still 200 missing, and more than 1,100 soldiers and police officers continue rescue efforts in 17 different neighborhoods affected by the flood. As reported by the Associated Press today, 20 worshippers were killed in a Punjab, Pakistan shrine when a custodian and four others attacked them with knives and batons. The report states the devotees were killed while they were intoxicated and nude. A regional police officer said the murders were the outcome of jealousy and dispute over the custodianship of the shrine. That's it for now. Please check out the links below in the description. And for those wanting to help us continue our mission, please click on and donate to the Patreon link as well.